Okay, so I've got those three gerberas there. This is a little experiment, a little grounding experiment. So this one has uh, a copper wire in it and that goes down here, along here, and then it's um, connected to the ground with a start picket fence post in the ground. This one has a piece of copper wire which is just rolled up together here. So it's not grounded, but it's still got the wire, the copper, to see if that makes a difference. And this one has nothing. Okay, and I'm going to just leave them there with the light on it and I'm going to take some time-lapse photography and we'll see how it looks after a week or two. And welcome back to the Weedy Garden. Um, I don't want to disappoint anybody today, so I'll say it up straight up front. This video is just going to be me sitting here saying something, and I'm going to be asking for some help from some people. So no cinema, cinema photography, no amazing storytelling, just off the cuff, unedited. A little request. This video is a video that I'm making about a video that I'm making about earthing about grounding. If you've never heard the terms earthing or grounding, then there's some links in the description in this video that um, can explain it <clears throat> really well. I learned about it about 15 years ago um, and I wrote about it in my book. It's about halfway through uh, that book at any given moment which patrons can download for free. Not that this is an ad for that or anything. But it's interesting because that's when I first discovered grounding and I spoke with some doctors in at the Royal Copenhagen Hospital uh, at the university in there and got some explanations. Found out years later that the, uh, the Tour de France people, the guys that ride the bicycles up the mountains, they sleep on silver threaded sheets that are connected into rods into the ground. So it helps them heal and helps their body regenerate after cycling for a hundred and whatever kilometers they have done. So I'm doing a video about grounding and about earthing uh, and that'll explain as well why you see me with bare feet all the time uh, and that video will explain what happens to my body when I don't wear shoes, when I'm connected to the ground and to give a little example of what happens, I'm setting up some experiments here. So behind me here you can see three gerberas. And what I want to do with this video is I want to uh, ask for anyone out there that's got the time, anyone out there that's got the enthusiasm or the interest, then please, if you can follow these instructions and do this experiment with me um, and send your results or post your results on the Weedy Garden Appreciation Society Facebook page. I know that's a big mouthful, but the link will be in the descriptions. The Weedy Garden Appreciation Society Facebook page. There anybody can post up photos if you if you like the page and you get accepted by admin and you just have to ask a simple question, uh, sorry, answer a simple question, which is what profession I used to do before I became the Weedy Garden YouTube channel. And um, if anyone that doesn't know that, then you can watch video number one and that'll tell you the answer. Or you can watch video number whatever and whatever because I've said it a few times. So if you don't know what that is right now, it's probably for the first time you're watching one of my videos. But if you look at the camera, that might give it away. But otherwise you can go and see my link in the description to my website as well. But back to the story. Um, I'm doing this experiment, right? And the experiment takes about two weeks. 
And if I do this experiment once, yeah, I can put it in a video, but I'd like to do it lots of times because it might have just been chance, you know? I've done this experiment a few times before, and if I show you this photo, this photo is from about two, three, four years ago where I did the experiment, and I'm basically doing the same thing here with these ones. And what it is, I've got three bottles of water, and the water in my situation is from the creek, because that's the water we get in the house. So three glass bottles and, um, and three gerberas. And, um, and it's best to get the same size gerbera and maybe the same color gerbera to make it exactly. But I asked Heather if she could get me three gerberas in town last time she was in town and she bought back these three ones because they were the last three in the shop. So I'm using these ones. But what it is is three glass bottles with water in them and a gerbera in each bottle, right? So this one, is just that, nothing else. And this one at the end as well, that has got a bit of copper wire, which is just electric electrical cable, and I've taken off the plastic at the end of it there, right? And I've just put that in the water, and then I think I've just cut it off here and folded it together, and it's hanging on the other side. So that's not connected anywhere else, it's just hanging on the top of the bottle, so the copper is in the water, so we know that the experiment's got nothing to do with the copper. But the middle one, that's got the wire in it, but the wire goes down here and it's connected to a, um, a metal pole, uh, like a metal post or a bit of metal, like, like a, this is a tent post. And um, you can see the copper wire, I've taken the plastic off the end and I've wrapped it around the metal. And what that does is that makes a conductive path from the ground up into the water. Okay. And what that means is that the electrons from the ground have a transport mode or a path of transport up into the water. And because the plant's in the water, it's also able to get this charge. And this charge is basically just a negative charge. If you think of the earth as being like a big battery, um, you've got the earth, this is negative charge, and up there about 70 k's or whatever is a positive charge. So that's when you see the lightning and the thunder, it's because it's bringing the atmosphere down, getting close to the negative, just like getting two bits of wire, a negative and a positive, and at some point you'll make the spark, and they get close to each other. That's sort of basically how our cells operate. Our cells are like a little motor that need the positive and negative charge to work. And so when you're grounded, you're always getting the negative charge and the positive charge is coming from around you so you can sell your cells can oscillate um, and in a situation where it's in a glass bottle it's sitting in a glass bottle it's not it's not getting any conductivity to the ground anymore so there's no more electrons coming in so the experiment is just to watch what happens after two weeks but while it's sitting with that grounded rod in it it's the, it sort of like keeps it alive and I want to do this experiment with sunflowers and I want to do it again with gerberas maybe only red ones and maybe only yellow ones. I want to do it with plants that are actually growing. So having a plastic pot on a bit of um, like styrofoam or something like that or something that doesn't let the electricity in so it insulates it from the ground and then put two pots and put some plants in each pot and then put a, one of these into the ground besides one pot and stick it in the ground in the dirt of the pot in the soil underneath the roots and just take a photo when you start and take a photo when in, in a few weeks and um, whether you see any difference or not I'm really interested to see what you've done so I don't know what's going on but I'm interested to find out and if you know anything about grounding or earthing or any experience that you've had please write it in the comments of this video because I read all the comments and um, I'm really interested to actually use some of your experience in my next video because I think this grounding thing I think this earthing thing, I believe, and I really, really do believe this, and I kind of want to show what's going on and try and understand it more so people can see it for themselves. I really believe that if you're connected to the ground, for example, with your bare feet or you're touching the ground or you're actually in the soil with your hands every day, you're going to be a much more healthy person. And that's what I reckon. And that's what my video is going to be about. So I'd like your help. Because I don't have enough cameras, you see. A camera, take a picture every five minutes or something like that if you're doing the time lapse. Doesn't matter if it has the constant light or not. 
I'm a photographer, so I care about it. So that's why these are all got the constant light on them all night long, all day long. But um, that'd be great. And um, upload your videos or your photos on the Weedy Garden Appreciation Society Facebook page. The link is in the description again. And um, otherwise, yeah, write what you feel about grounding or earthing or what you've experienced in the comments of this video. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. And um, yeah, appreciate those people that help. I really do. It's going to be great. Thanks. Have a nice day and I'll catch you later, as I say.